Gentlemen, let me ask you something personal, because I know you've probably wondered this in private but never asked out loud. What really happens to your prostate if you masturbate every single day? Some people whisper that it's harmful, that it inflames your prostate, weakens your performance, or even increases your risk of cancer. Others claim the exact opposite, that it's actually protective. So which is it? Is daily self-pleasure a silent danger or a hidden ally? I promise you, the truth is far more surprising and far more hopeful than most men realize. Stick with me, because once you hear the science, you may never look at your own habits the same way again. Before we dive in, I'd love to know, where are you watching from? Drop your city or country in the comments below. And while you're here, hit like to help this important conversation reach more men. And don't forget to subscribe for straightforward, science-based health guidance. All right, let's bust this myth wide open. For decades, men have been told scary stories. Too much masturbation will wear out your prostate. It'll cause prostatitis, or the most frightening one. It could give you cancer. Those warnings spread everywhere, from locker rooms to internet forums to outdated medical pamphlets. And naturally, they've created a lot of silent fear. But here's the truth. Science tells us the exact opposite. Not only is frequent ejaculation not harmful, it may actually protect your prostate in powerful, measurable ways. And this isn't just a theory. It's based on landmark research from one of the most respected universities in the world. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Sophia, and I've spent the past 10 years working with men's health, helping men over 50 and 60 reclaim their vitality, confidence, and quality of life. And in this video, I'm going to break down the shocking scientific discovery about masturbation and prostate cancer risk, the biological reasons why frequent ejaculation may actually keep your prostate healthier, the practical steps you should take, because while masturbation can help, it's not the whole story. One, the Harvard study that changed everything. Harvard researchers followed 32,000 men for nearly two decades. They tracked lifestyle, health outcomes, and yes, ejaculation frequency. The result, men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had up to a 33% lower risk of prostate cancer compared to men who only ejaculated a few times a month. Let that sink in. Instead of being dangerous, frequent ejaculation seemed to protect the prostate. Two, why the prostate flush hypothesis? Think of your prostate like a set of small tubes or ducts. If fluids sit in there too long, they can stagnate, collecting old cells and even potentially harmful chemicals. Regular ejaculation literally flushes the pipes, clearing out buildup before it can cause irritation or mutations. It's like a natural cleansing system. Three, healthier cell turnover. Every time a cell divides, there's a chance for a mistake in the DNA, a mutation. That's how cancer can start. Scientists believe frequent ejaculation helps cycle old cells out and replace them with fresh, healthy ones, lowering the odds of dangerous changes taking hold. Four, stress and inflammation connection. We know chronic inflammation is fuel for many diseases, including cancer. Orgasms reduce stress hormones like cortisol and trigger feel-good chemicals like dopamine and oxytocin. By reducing tension and inflammation, you're actually giving your prostate a calmer, healthier environment. Five, quality of life benefits. And it's not just about cancer risk. Men who maintain a regular sexual release often report sleeping better, feeling more relaxed, maintaining stronger erectile function due to better blood flow. It's physical therapy, stress relief, and emotional well-being rolled into one. Now let's be very clear. This doesn't mean you should measure your health only by how often you ejaculate. Daily masturbation can be healthy, but it works best when combined with other proven habits. Diet, eat more tomatoes, watermelon, and pink grapefruit, all rich in lycopene, which supports prostate health. Add green tea and omega-3 fatty acids from fish. Exercise. Even 30 minutes of walking most days helps regulate hormones and reduce inflammation. Weight management. Obesity is linked to more aggressive prostate issues. Stay active and mindful with food. Limit alcohol and avoid smoking. Both increase cancer risks and weaken blood vessels. Medical checkups. Nothing replaces early screening. Talk to your doctor about PSA testing, especially if you're over 50 or have family history. And if you're struggling with those frustrating symptoms, frequent nighttime bathroom trips, 
weak flow, that constant can't quite empty feeling, I've linked a special video in the pinned comment below. It explains an unusual but promising natural method to address what some researchers call a hidden prostate clog. You'll definitely want to check it out after this. So let's come back to the fear. You may have spent years worrying that masturbation was damaging your health, that it was something to feel guilty about or ashamed of. But the truth is, it's not only normal, it may actually be one of the simplest, most natural tools to protect your prostate and preserve your vitality. You don't need to feel guilty. You don't need to feel broken. What you're doing is part of a healthy male body keeping itself functioning. Age is not the end of vitality. With the right habits, eating better, moving more, staying connected, and yes, maintaining a healthy sex life, you can protect your prostate, improve your quality of life, and feel confident in your body again. So here's my challenge to you. Don't let myths or shame steal your health. Embrace knowledge. Use it. Live fully. If this video helped you, please hit like, make sure you're subscribed, and tap the bell so you don't miss the next one. And now I want to hear from you. What other men's health myths have you heard that you'd like me to investigate? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. Stay healthy, stay strong, and remember, your age does not define your vitality. Small choices today build freedom, dignity, and confidence tomorrow. I'm Dr. Sophia, and I'll see you in the next video.